So I've been on the queer side of TikTok for some time and honestly being on there has really made me realize that thank god I'm a lesbian. Thank god I am gay. You have no idea how grateful I am for just being born gay and what privileges I have because of it. Hi, my name is Lisa and I make YouTube videos on LGBT dating and my dating journey. In this video, I want to remind you why being a lesbian is truly a blessing. There are definitely challenges that come with being a sexual minority and with Christianity and other religions that are weaponizing our homosexuality to attack us. And some of you guys think that being straight just might be so much easier. Dating just seems almost impossible as a lesbian. I want to remind you guys and open up your eyes that the grass really isn't much greener on the other side. The other side being straight. Let's go down the list as to what those reasons are. So the first awesome reason as to what is so amazing about being a lesbian is that I do not have to worry about getting pregnant. I'm only sleeping with women. There would be no way, I would be very concerned, but no way for me to get pregnant or to get the other person pregnant. I hear all these other girls like having to be worried about condoms and just like plan B, if he has to pull out, all that. We don't, we don't okay, like I am so glad I just, I don't have to worry about that. I have enough on my plate as it is with what's going on with my life. I don't need to have a good time become a stressful time. In the realm of women's health, the second reason that's awesome is that if I were to get a period or my partner were to get a period, women are just generally more understanding when that thing happens. I hear stories about straight girls that have periods and they're dating a guy the reactions that these guys are getting giving is that they're not they're just not understanding they're disappointed because they're probably not gonna have sex that night that day or they have this conception that she's gonna have pms she's on her period she's gonna be emotional all this sort of misogynistic mindset myths about women and then also women who are dating guys they feel like they're embarrassed. Oh, like they, they got the sheets dirty because of their period. Honestly, if that were to ever happen, like I would be helping the girl out, try to clean the sheets. Hey, it's fine. Do you want me to get you ice cream or anything for your period, ibuprofen, whatever you need. There's just no empathy that like I hear that comes from guys. Not, not every guy, obviously I'm generalizing, but that's kind of the struggle that you're dealing with with the opposite gender who just doesn't understand or living in a female body. So fun fact with me, I've actually been taking birth control partly because like I don't need my period. As a lesbian, I really don't need my period. I don't plan on getting pregnant, but it is so great to take my birth control, stop my period, and then I don't have to worry about it when it comes around to certain events. Like for example, if I want to have sex, I don't have to worry about interfering. And the conversation of, oh, sorry, honey, like I can't, I have my period. I don't really want to have sex tonight. That conversation no longer exists because I'm not having that. So I don't have to worry about period, underwear, having to wash my underwear because of blood stains, no more periods and no pregnancy thanks to thanks to birth control. <laughs> so birth control is not just directed towards heterosexuals. The third reason that I really think that I am so lucky to be gay is that women are just generally much better lovers. I cannot count the number of times that I've spoken with a girl who's in a relationship with a man and she's complaining about something that like, that just generally does, does not exist in the lesbian realm. It's just, I hear it and it's just so alien to me. For example, asking about feelings. It sounds to me that like men or most men, see I'm generalizing here, but this is like what 
the data I've been gathering from TikTok. Granted, I've never been in a straight relationship. Speak on my own from my own experience, but from what I'm hearing from other people, is that men just generally have low EQ. EQ being emotional intelligence. Being able to ask a woman, how are you feeling today? And being able to empathize and having compassion and being able to respond in a mature adult way instead of blowing it up out of proportion or acting like a child to turn it around and make it about them. It's really sad that some of these men can't communicate on that emotional level. And of course, I know I'm generalizing, but this is what I'm seeing in general. When we hear or talk about how lesbians show their affection, it's more intimate, more emotional, and it's almost like more poetic. I see these videos on TikTok where first date, first date, she will go buy her flowers, have this elaborate picnic, this just great, great first date. Some guys would just like show up in like cargo shorts, socks, sandals, and a wrinkled t-shirt. Uh, it's just like they're not even trying. Like, do they even like women? That's what I don't even understand. And just like, I hear about complaints about women feeling objectified. I mean, that's this is a thing that we deal with as a woman through just in the American culture, I would say, just being sexualized, but we just don't feel like we're being treated as even a human being. Like, we're a person, we're not an object. We have feelings, we have emotions. Drop a comment down below if you think that you are a great lover and tell me why. What makes you a good lover? My next reason, I don't even know what number I'm on. I think I'm on number four. I think I'm on number four. Reason number four, lesbians get the privilege of being able to have better sex. I, I feel like I need to throw in statistics here, but oh my gosh, um, hold on, I gotta find the statistics. Okay, so with a relatively quick Google search, it says here that 2014 report from Journal of Sexual Medicine found that 75% of 75% of lesbians had orgasms during sex. In comparison, we get a whopping 61% of heterosexual women who orgasm. Right there, we are seeing a difference. And there can be a multitude of things. I've read that women are viewed a little differently amongst men, like the male gaze. So there's a sort of expectation what their body should look like comparing it to say porn or these celebrities, because that's what men think that women should look like. So I mean, women feeling more anxious in their own body during sex, there's that. And just, there's also just men are just terrible <laughs> at sex. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and also not, men just may not be very good at giving the sex to the women's because probably many straight men probably think that the only way to get a woman's orgasm is through penetration. And that is truly not the case. Women who are in bed with another woman, they are more likely going to feel more comfortable in their own bodies because, hey, I have stretch marks, you have stretch marks, we know what it's like to have stretch marks. It's not an unfamiliar concept. So we're not putting each other down because of it. And just like the importance of communication and actually knowing the anatomy of a woman helps. <laughs> Where's the clitoris? Oh, and I totally forgot this piece. So there's this absolute hilarious meme of w detailing the difference between heterosexual sex versus lesbian sex. I'll just post on the screen right here. Lesbian sex is, it takes so long. It takes so long. I have to like, I have to like really plan out the day. We have, I, I told her, you know what? We need to start early. We need to start at like 10 p.m. Maybe earlier. But I remember like going to bed at like 3 p.m. because we'd be having sex for that long. And part of the reason is that women generally have a lower refractory period. I don't know if that's the right word, but when it comes to men who orgasm, they have a longer refractory period, so it takes them a while for them to recover, from what I understand. From a fellow male friend of mine, he says that you orgasm once, and the second time you orgasm is just not as good. Women, we can orgasm multiple times. 
part of it's because it's not having to do with reproductive purposes, but when it comes to a man orgasming, it does. So probably biology, whoever created us had to take that into account. So longer sex, I think it's a lot more fun. Yes, it takes a lot of time, but hey, it burns a lot of calories. The next reason that's so amazing about being a lesbian is that we get our own dedicated day, our own dedicated holiday about us. And it's called International Lesbian Day, and that's on October 8th. If you've never heard of it, please go ahead and mark it on your calendar because International Lesbian Day is truly a day where it's revolving around coming together to celebrate the history, the culture, the diversity, and emphasizing how important it is to have community. Truly, I think it's important to appreciate how far we've come for all the women and all the men and all the people involved to get to where we are today. And finally, what is great about being a lesbian is that the L and LGBT community, L being standing for lesbian, we are first in the acronym. So fun fact, this actually goes back related to our history where Lesbians were heavily involved with helping the gay community during the AIDS pandemic. And because of that, there was a communal decision to move L in front of the acronym. And so that's that. So I understand that most of my content is about dating and I hear you guys are complaining about how difficult it is about dating as a lesbian. I hear ya. And I feel that difficulty sometimes as well. Remember, like my videos are here to help you guys in terms of guiding you to give you the courage and confidence to approach women. But this video, I want you to remember how amazing it is to be a lesbian. Because honestly, the, the complaints I hear from straight women or just women who are with other men, I just don't, I'm like, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> the complaints of them being not present and just being emotionless and just not communicating well. It's just so different when you're in a relationship with a woman. So I want to remind you guys that, like I said, the grass may not be greener on the other side and truly embrace what it's like, what it is to be a lesbian. If you like more content like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get more videos about LGBT dating and also great videos on my dating journey. If you found this video helpful, you enjoyed it, please go ahead and smash the like button. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.